Hello, 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 earthly Virgos. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope that you had a good day today. I hope that your weekend was pretty good too. Okay, if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Messages for the earthly Virgo. Spirit, what message do you have? What is the Ten of Cups that fell out? This past weekend, I went to a jazz um, a jazz concert. This guy, this local guy, plays the saxophone. His name is Tim Cunningham, and I had a good time. I love love seeing him in concert. He is really amazing. Okay, have a good weekend. All right, y'all. Messages for the earthly. We're starting with the Ten of Cups. Too many. All right. The strength card. Hmm. The seven of pentacles. There, it, it looks like I have this ten of the ten of cups, the strength card, and the seven of pentacles, holding each other up within your family element. Okay, not leaving anybody behind. Okay, always being there to support one another. Always saying, "I got your back." baby, I got your back, sister, brother, or whatever, having a close-knit family unit together, okay? Close-knit relatives, let me adjust these lights, um, just being there for each other, you know, thinking, that, okay, I'm also seeing somebody outside of your family needs some support, maybe in a different state, maybe even, even in a different country. You have other people outside of your family element who need help, um, maybe asking you for help or you don't know that, that you don't realize that they need the help because they don't communicate with you on a regular basis. Maybe they're, maybe they're living up in Africa or a foreign land and they're needing help, okay? Wanting support, especially financially. And it's almost as if, Whoever this person is, they're with a significant other who is asking them to reach out and ask for help. Like, baby, please, you know, your family is stable. Are you telling me that your family is stable? Please just ask them for some help. We need some help here. OK, I can't do this all alone. We can't do this all alone. We have to re we have to realize that there are people out there who could help us, you know, wanting somebody to help there. And they can't really do it on their own. The couple can't do it on their own. That there, it's like they they try, they have tried up until this point, but they can't. Okay. Got the moon. The six of swords. This person also may be longing to come home, wanting to come home, but finding the, but they need to have the strength and the courage to ask you to help them come home, to help to pay for their way to get back home. Okay. King of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the King of Cups. I, I want to come back home, you know, and they need the help to come back home or whatever. They, they're wondering, you know, I don't know if I have anybody out there. Who can I, who can, who can I help? It's like this person is in their own world, possibly single, doesn't have to be, um, but just wondering, like laying in wait, asking for spirit to help. Who can I call? Help me. Um, I need somebody to be there for me right now. What am I going to do? It's like them and, and like this wolf here represents them, their higher self are representing their partner. Both of them are praying. Both, both of them are in their own little zone praying for help. You know, I want to come home. I know that I left, but I'm ready to come back. Please help me come back home. OK, to where the love was, to where the um, camaraderie was. They, they're missing that in their life. Going through some struggles, okay? Messages for Virgos, please. See, they're halfway across the world. We have the world here. This person may be, like I said, in a different a different country here, you know, for some, it doesn't have to be for all. Okay. Um, just in a different, like far, far away from you. And they don't know how to, they don't know what else to do. They're, they're needing help. Okay. Maybe that, maybe there, we have some people possibly in Africa, maybe have some people here in, in, I'm in Italy. Um, uh, but, uh, what else? Hold on y'all. Egypt or I'm looking at the India, perhaps too, uh, something else. 
Greece, possibly. Rome. Oh, yeah, I said that, but it's just they're far away and they're ready to come back home. Uh, we have here the four of the four of cups. They're just not happy where they are. You know, they go out, you know, and, and they have a group of people that they hang around, but they're just it's just the the love isn't there, the camaraderie isn't there, the family isn't there, they're they're missing home, okay? And they don't know how to celebrate life without you being in it or your family element being in it. They don't want to do anything. They don't want to celebrate life anymore because they realize their life is not the same without you and your family. Okay. So, uh, what other messages here do you have for the earthlies? Messages for the earthlies, please. What do you have? The five of wands. This, the eight of swords. This person also could could they they probably are not getting along with that significant other where they are. Um, they probably have had arguments, and that person is probably the one that's probably wanting them to write back home or to call home to get some money. Okay, and this person, your person, is tired of it. I'm ready to go get the fuck up out of here. I'm going back to where I'm loved. Fuck you. You know that kind of energy, and they're they're just longing. We got the eight of swords. It's like they're longing to be back home, but they don't know how to get there. They don't. They feel locked in. They feel like they are tied down here. Um, and they want to come home, but they just can't afford it. Or maybe they burn their bridges with you, and they realize like I need to find a way to get back home. We have the empress here. I need to get back home. Okay. This person feels the need to come back home to figure out a way to call you. But whoever it is that they're with, they probably almost have to escape from this person or escape from where they are. Um, like do it in the dark of night. They got to do it in a sneaky way. OK. Otherwise, they feel like they some harm may become of them if they don't. May, some harm may become may be coming to them if they don't escape like in the darkness or or something when somebody else is not looking. Like, it's not like some, there has to be some sort of diversion for your person to be looking, the person who they're with to be looking in a different direction or doing something different than all of a sudden, boom, I'm getting the fuck up on Dodge, that kind of stuff, okay? The tower. Yeah, I just think that this person is, is, is really suffering. We got the eight of wands and they may call you and say, I need you to help me come home. Uh, uh, whatever, if they need to apologize or or whatever, you know, I just feel that they're going to end up leaving where it is, where they are to come home. Okay. Um, because wherever it is they they are, they're not happy there. They're not, they're not at home there. Their home is no longer across the rivers, across the seas, across wherever it is they are. Okay. But they, they're, they're, they're experiencing a deep, intense moment of, of, of a tower right now. Things are crumbling down around them and they don't know their left from their right right now. And they're saying, I'm watching, this is your person, okay? And this is them watching things, watching what, what's going on in their world, where they are. It's a bunch of chaos, a bunch of destruction, and they don't want to be there anymore. And listen, some of this may be some energy from like the wars that are going on right now, all this stuff that's going on overseas. And they're, they're saying like a military person, they don't want this anymore, but you know, they, they're trying to figure out a way how they can come home because they're tired of seeing all the destruction, all of the destruction. They're tired of seeing all of the death, all of the mayhem. Okay. Um, and it's, they need to figure out a way to get home. They're, they're, they're hoping and wishing on a, on a, a wing and a prayer just for them to come back home because they miss you they miss family okay if they don't miss anything else Virgo they're missing family and they're trying to figure out a different way to to handle life because they don't know what to do okay let's get some final messages here for your person spirit messages for Virgo's person this is if they're overseas but or if they are in a faraway place let's say that okay Messages from your person if they're in a faraway place. Okay. The Three of Pentacles. The Lovers. See, it's about work. Some of them, it's about work. Okay. The Eight of Cups. They want to leave. I'm telling you, this person is suffering. 
um, and they've got the seven of swords. They're wanting to leave. Okay, wherever it is they are. It's, it's not only is it the land where they are. I'm hearing the land from down under. It's, it doesn't even have to be the land, whoever it is. It's the person too. And they're just saying, I can't do this anymore. This is just too much. Okay. Too much. This person's looking for clarity in the moonlight. Okay. This person is praying and, and, and suffering, really suffering in silence. It has to do with work. Like I said, this could be military. It could be a work overseas in China or someplace like that. You know, it doesn't have to be just military, though it could be. Okay. And we have the lovers. This person is very, very, um, baby, listen, you know, you're not going anywhere. You're going to stay here with me forever. You know, you feel stuck and you're turning your back. You say, okay, all right. When you turn your back, when you got something that's up, that's keeping you busy or whatever the situation is, I'm done. I'm just waiting for the perfect opportunity to done, to be done. And whatever it is, your person is really, really relying on the moon to charge their energy, but answer like they're, like they're worshiping the moon, but not worshiping, but really praying in the ethers, the higher ethers. But it's something about the moon, okay? That's got this person really, really hoping and wishing and praying that something will happen. See, the moonlight is, it's like they're looking for the right time to escape the right energy for, from the moon or from anything, you know, just to, just for them to, to survive, just for them to get away. It's like they're looking for the perfect opportunity. Show me, show me which way you want me to go. You know, like following... They're following their instincts and they're following their higher power. Yeah. And they're, they're following their North Star. You know, they, they're looking for their North Star. But their, in this case, their North Star is the moon. Something about the moon that has this person. You know, they don't want to know what they're, they don't want the person that they're with the, or the people that are hanging around to know what's really and truly going on. But they know that they need to get out of this energy. The Three of Cups. Clarify the Three of Cups for Virgo's person. Got the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Swords. Feeling defeated. Okay. We got the Fool card. We got the Three of Swords. And we got the Four of Wands. You know, you got. Their friends and their friends where they are are kind of realizing what's going on with them. And some of them are, are going to try to help get them back home. But they, they're defeated, too, in what's going on in their life and what's going on in their land. So a lot of people can't help your friend or your family member, your family member out as much as they could because they themselves have a lot going on in their life. They wish they could help them out. They wish they could afford to help them out. But your person is is seeking clarity from the universe and friends or whatever, people who they really care about or whatever, but nobody can really help your person because they're going through some struggles too that they're going through. And and they feel sorry for your person, but it's a struggle for them too, living their life. They're, they're feeling defeated in their life, but I, I want to help you. I wish I could, Chloe or Danny, but I can't because <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to help myself. I don't know how to help my family here, you know? So you got uh, some decisions to make on whether or not you're going to help this person or um, whatever the situation is. But I think your person is really struggling. Okay. Messages for Virgo's person, please. Message for Virgo's person who is in a faraway place wanting to come home. Eight of, eight of Swords. Text message or some sort of, of, of uh, message is going to be coming from this person. Baby, I want to come home because I'm tired of being far away from home. Family members, whoever, this person is ready to come home. That they, they want to come home. They want you to welcome them back home. Okay? Because right now their life is pretty, pretty chaotic. And we got some endings here. The death card. Judgment. And we got the world. So... This person wants to come back to your side of the world. Okay. Earlier we had the world court. We have the death, the judgment, and the world court. This person is seeking to come back home because they're in a faraway place, a faraway land. And they're saying, I want to come home. We got the eight of swords followed by the two of swords. Okay. We have here the two of wands. That's them where they are right now wanting to come back home because they're so far away. Okay. Um, 
Carol King, so far away. Does anybody stay in one place? Does anybody stay in one place anymore? Yeah, Carol King. So far away, I'll put that in the comments. So they want to come home. Everything that they're going through now, they have to make a judgment call and say, well, I'm coming home by any means necessary. I don't know how I'm going to get there, but I'm tired of this shit. I'm coming home. Okay. And then they're going to feel so much more lighter. Okay. So much more at peace when they come back home to, to the people who truly love them. But they have to evolve. They have to figure out a way how they can communicate with you or how they can get back home. Okay. Because I think that this person is seeking refuge outside of the place that they're in right now because they're living a very, very uncomfortable life and they're just ready, they're just ready to leave everything and everybody behind. They're feeling so withdrawn from life and feeling so battled and possibly even belittled by a few people, okay? Because they're not home, all right? This message may, may very may um, resonate with a select few, maybe one or two. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments, okay? And I'll talk to you soon. Happy Valentine's Day.